say. What were you doing in that barrel? That's my business. I guess I can ride around the country in a barrel if I want to, can't I? You uh, stowing away on that wagon train? Traveling incognito. Oh, into a little unfriendly poker game. Uh, very unfriendly poker game. Where you heading, bub? Mile City, aiming on finding work, maybe in the mines. Well, now, that's a coincidence. I'm broke myself, aiming in the same direction, uh, leaving out the work. I am a promoter. We'll hop aboard. What's your name? Steve Kells. Whitaker's mine. Honest John Whitaker. Well, pleased to meet you, John. Just make yourself at home. Hey, you're a little mite polite for a native. From the east, ain't you? Which part? All of me. I've seen him, Gus. You caught him red hand. Neil's crooked. I want to... Throw him out. Order him. No room for skunks in this town. Room. We've been waiting to catch you. Looks like there might be a vacancy in the gambling department. Well, where are you going, John? I'm going to take me up a new suit of clothes. He's been cheating steady on me for the last eight nights. How much do you figure you're out, Gus? Oh, close on to $400. Well, here it is back. I ain't holding the card sharks. Hurricane, you're sure long on honesty and quick on the draw. Now, lady, if I ever see one. You spend your money on your wife and your kids, Gus. They need it. Hank, throw this sniveling tin horn out of here. Well, what are you going to have? Beer or red eye? Well, nothing, ma'am. I'm not much of a drinking man. Well, that's in your favor. I own a saloon, but I don't hold to drinking. Are you Mrs. McGuire? No. My name is and always will be Miss McGuire. Oh, I was wondering if, uh... What? Well, I was going to ask you if you could, uh... Must have rode a long way, tired and dusty. Have you yet? No, but, uh... Well, when a young fella comes effing and button in here, it just means he's rustling up food, a bed, or a job. <laughs> I could use all three of them. Did you ever saw wood? No, but I could. Well, from the look of you, I don't think you could heave coal or deal farrow. No harm in trying, ma'am. Well, I guess you're gonna have to sing for your supper. Say, do you ever do any singing or piano playing? I can play a guitar a little, but not enough to be hired for. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Leave me here, you. <clears throat> you can't be any worse than the last piano player I had. Hey, boy, this young feller is going to give us a little music, and I want you should all listen. It's elevating. Let it go, son. With my guitar, I'll strum your blues away. With my guitar, we'll greet the break of day. If ever clouds of gray you find. I'll make those clouds all silver line With my guitar, a song of love I'll croon with my guitar. We'll serenade the moon and life will just be, must be heaven for two with my guitar and you. With my guitar, I'll strum your blues away. With my guitar, we'll greet the break of day. If ever clouds of gray you 
fine. I'll make those clouds all silver line with my guitar. A song of love I'll croon with my guitar. We'll serenade the moon and life will just be, must be heaven for two with my guitar. And you. from under me and then started shooting. Get Doc Osborne, quick. That gal in there stopped one of their bullets. Doc's over at Dixie Wells. Take her into the bar, Hank. Better take a look at her. Why me? Never mind the wise the wherefores. After you get it fixed up, I'll tell you. Now, Scott. Step back, boys. Give her air. Alice. Give me your knife. Get a lamp real quick. Get some of those clean bar towels and a lot of hot water. Bad to come here. This is the stage we just robbed. Maybe they recognize us. Quit worrying, Sanders. I'm thirsty. Service. Shut your face, you big lummox. Can't you see the docs doing an operation? Somebody hurt? Yes, pretty girl stopped a bullet from one of them Border Legion fellas. I just wish some of them ornery weasels would set a foot in here. Do you think you'd know them, ma'am? I have an nose for skunks. <sighs> Smells kind of funny. Like, uh, like stale cigars. I can't abide them. Put her to bed. Take her upstairs, Hank. I'll be right along. Stay close to her, will you? Oh, well, you know her, don't you, Sam? Yes. You know, every once in a while, I get a bundle of papers from the East. First day you struck town, I thought I recognized you. I cut this out just so no one else would. Hurricane. For my money, Dr. Kellogg, you'll do. We didn't know you as a doctor. There wasn't any reason for me to tell you. You can't tell a man by the cut of his jib. Now, take me for instance. Yes, I've been wondering if I shouldn't. You know, there's something mighty familiar about them clothes. Sheriff, there's something mighty familiar about your manner. <laughs> you old pen handler. <laughs> at the bar is the one that just held me up. Are you sure? Dead sure. Their horses are tied right outside. And I couldn't be mistaken in that big pinto. Milo, he looked this way. Come on. Hold on. You want me, Sheriff? Yes, you're under arrest. You and your whole gang. What's the charges? Never mind that. Charges will be preferred later. All right. Add this to them. We'll take the stage. 
Agent, follow! Are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. We've got to gather every man in town that ain't afraid of a fight. How about you, Kells? You with me? I ain't even to be here very long. I've got an itchy foot that kind of keeps me traveling. Come on, let's get back to town. You've been awfully kind, Hurricane. How do I look? Pale and interesting. I've got to convince Steve. He must go back to Albany. Do you think he will? Well, you never can tell from where you stand which way a frog will jump. Steve, you're plumb crazy. You got to tell that gal who you're covering up. I can't, John. It's her brother. Oh. Come in. Hello, Steve. Hello, Alice. They tell me you found a stray bullet in my shoulder. You always did have a knack for getting in the way of things. Mr. John, supposing you and me let the young folks have a chat. Ma'am, I'm yours to command. <laughs> well, now, that's real nice and polite. Miss Hurricane, where I come from, chivalry is not dead. Well, in this territory, they've got it gasping for breath. <laughs> I'm awfully glad to see you. How did you find me? Dr. Jim showed me your letter. Oh, but don't blame him. He didn't think I'd come to you. I'm glad you did, but the authorities will follow you here. I suppose they do. If they take you back, then you'll have to tell the truth. I'm moving on. But where? Oh, I don't know. California, Mexico. I won't let you sacrifice your life. Steve, who is it you're shielding? Well, you figured wrong. I'm the one. That... Don't lie to me, Steve. All right, maybe I'm trying to help someone. If you'll just let me do my job as I see it, I'd be grateful to you. It isn't your job to protect a thief and ruin your life and, and mine. You've got to go home, Alice. Maybe someday we'll... No. No, there won't be any someday for us. When do you want me to go home? The eastbound stage is leaving in the morning. Will you be ready? Yes. That's the way you want it. She's the gold producingest mine I ever owned. You must be powerful rich. Rich? Why, Hurricane, I am without a doubt one of the wealthiest men. Well, how about paying your own board? <clears throat> yes, yes, I, I, I was just getting to that. Now, now, you just pick out any one of them certificates you like. What for? Stock in the Queen Bee. Anybody can pay you with money. But honest John Whitaker pays with gold nuggets. Where are they? Sprouting in the ground with the daisy flowers. Now, there's a hundred shares for you, a hundred shares for your hospitality, which I hope to continue to enjoy for a good many moons. Well, this makes me a stockholder. Why well, wouldn't be surprised if someday you'd find yourself in the same position financially as I am? Well, he didn't talk very long. Well, Steve was a man of very few words. Even so, he must have said them awful quick. Tell the lady the eastbound stage leaves in the morning at 9 o'clock sharp. Well, what time does the westbound stage leave? 10 o'clock. But if you're in a hurry, there's one leaves in about an hour, special. Has to make connection with the Lewistown stage. I'll take it. Thank you. Mm. 
Maybe we take a walk. I guess. Well, you guess right, I guess. Saw you working on that girl in the saloon, Doc. Nice job. Thanks. You didn't bring me out here just to compliment me. That's right, Sawbones. This leg of mine's driving me batty. Take a look at it, will you? Looks like I'm building up quite a practice. Hey, you, Farrah. Don't make jokes. He's one big man. You do him good. Don't fret, Sanders. He'll do a good job on me, or I'll give you permission to do a good job on him. Heat some water, boiling hot. Sterilize a knife. How soon can I use this like that? Boring complications, I'd say about two weeks. That makes a difference in a lot of things. Drop in town tomorrow and I'll change the bandages. <laughs> I seem to have said something very amusing. Hey, Doc, you go out of here in a sack. Santos, pick up Davis and the boys at Lincoln. Sweeney, you get the gang at the Bar Y Ranch at Aldenby. Have them take care of that other job, savvy? This seems to be a pretty busy organization. Nothing like it anywhere. Runs smooth as clockwork. That means leadership. The man who runs this outfit must have brains. That's me. If there's anyone smarter, I ain't run up against him. Running into a bullet was sort of accidental. Even the head of the Border Legion could do that. Why, you half-baked dude. I run the Border Legion. <laughs> well, I might have known. Only a brave man could have stood the probing I did for that slug. <laughs> What'd you expect me to do, holler mama? I figured the Border Legion was much larger than this. Well, there's just a small part of them. I got men scattered all over the territory. Too bad. What's bad about it? You being cut down in your prime. Listen, you. There ain't nobody big enough to cut down Jim Golden. I'm not doubting your courage, Mr. Golden. That's why it's too bad to see a man like you fall victim to... You mean this leg's gonna get me down? You've neglected it. Unless I miss my guess, you're heading for a pretty fancy case of gangrene. You gotta do something about it. You're a doctor. I can save your leg and your life. Just make up your mind who goes out of here in a sack. Santos! Now on, you keep your trap shut. Any orders as to who goes out of here and how comes from me. Thanks. I'm in no hurry. I just soon spend a little time with you. Don't take too much for granted. I'm going to keep you here until this leg gets better. In case any of your friends start hunting you up, well... The people who are hunting me aren't exactly my friends. All right. You're on probation. But don't get careless. Keep your leg up there. <laughs> You're the doctor. Now, Miss Randall, you admit leaving Albany. Well, then, as much as I'm in Miles City, yes. That proves my point. You came here with the express purpose of meeting Stephen Kellogg, alias Kells. I trailed you step by step. <laughs> you should have stepped a little faster, brother. You ain't caught up with Steve yet. <laughs> I always get my man. John, Officer Willits is questioning Miss Ellis. Where is he? If I knew, I'd be glad to tell you, so you could take him back to Albany. Don't expect me to believe that. You're engaged to him. Well, it's true. I want him to stand trial because I know he's innocent. Ah. Now, old lady, I'll take a crack at you. You do, and I'll take a shot at you, you pusillanimous little popinjay. Now, now, Hurricane, don't start a blowing. They're all in cahoots. I don't believe any of them. Sir, do you doubt the word of honest John Whitaker? Never heard of him. Well, we have. Me and the boy want ask Mr. Whitaker about a gold mine. He no got gold mine. The men from all the creek say she's a dead town. There is no more gold there. Hurricane, who you believe in? Them or me? I ain't a saying. I'm a listening. You'd better do some talking, John. Don't encourage him, ma'am. He'll talk you out of your eye teeth. Sir, 
You dare infer that I ain't open and above board? You ought to be open. You've been plugged often enough. I know this old horse thief. Him and me swung many a pick. Right there's my claim. That's my assay report. Queen bee, 3,000 to the ton. 3,000 what? Bees. I mean buck. Shoot him. Three him up. I ain't asked a good for That's a baron. Run it for air. Stand back. I ain't gonna have no bloodshed in here. Just had this place scrubbed. Yeah, if you've been took in, there's plenty of time to see into this thing. All right, Sheriff, arrest him. Put him in the clicker. Come on. Lock him up. Hurricane, get me a lawyer. Charge it to my account. Tell the truth, John. Have you really got a gold mine? Why, certainly I got a mine. But is there any gold in it? It used to be. They're coming after me. There's Trucker. All the cricks are booming. All the crick booms again. Rich and strikes and Sutter's quick. Say, why have you got my friend John? Well, he's in the clink, like you said. Well, you can't do that to honest John. He's my partner. Amos, you release my fiance, or I'll smack you flatter than a pancake. You better take a hundred shares. You'll never get another opportunity like this. So, thank you, sir. You'll never regret it. Next! I want a hundred. hundred of you. I want fifty. Fifty. I'll take two hundred. That's what I call a man. What am I offering for the palace? It's Alder Creek or bust. Come on, boys. Make your bids. What do I hear? Hey, I'm trying to sell shares. And I'm selling the palace and buying up them shares. You and me are working the clean bee together. You can't do that. Who says I can't? We're going to Alder Creek. As honest John Whitaker's partner, I'm taking the shares of the Queen Bee off the market. Who elected you my partner? I did. Now, wait a minute now. Quiet, you squirt! <laughs> <laughs> this is the finest piece of property. What's the matter? Can't you play something lively? Sure, sure, I cheer you up good. I was walking one morning for pleasure, spied a cow puncher all riding alone. His hat was thrown back and his spurs were jingling, and as he approached, he was singing this song. Whoopie tie, I o, get along, little doggies, it's your misfortune and none of my own. Whoopie tie, I o, get along, little doggies, you know that Wyoming will be your new home. It's early in the spring that we round up the doggies. We mark them and brand them and bob off their tails. Round up the horses, load up the chuck wagon, then throw the doggies out on the north trail. Whoopie tie, I owe, get along, little doggies. It's your misfortune and none of my own. Whoopie tie, I owe, get along, little doggies. You know that Wyoming will be your new home. Mother was raised way down in Texas, where the gems and weeds and the sandbirds grow. We'll fill you up on prickly pear and choya until you are ready for Idaho. Won't be die, I o, get along, little doggies. It's your misfortune and none of my own. Won't be die, I o, get along, little doggies. You know that Wyoming will be your new home. <laughs> See what it is. It's red. Let him in. Mile City Bank is moving all its gold at dawn. Why? I guess you got them scared, Jim. How are they taking it? All I know is they're moving it. Let's get going. We'll meet at the Bar Y Ranch. We're not coming back here. Why didn't you let me in on this, boss? Why, sure. Santos, ride hurt on him. If he makes a move to double cross us, blast him. Wide and permanent. Two more, and then we go. Uh -huh. Are you boys riding shotgun all the way? Yeah, clear into Bossy.
about Cal. We'll spray him later. Come on. It's Kells. Steve Kells in the Border Legion. That's a story on the word of honor. That's the most foolish statement you've made yet. I'm talking to Sheriff Lake, Willett. Officer Willett, with a warrant for your arrest. If you talk your way out of this, I'll be waiting. You'll have to get in line. The sheriff's one ahead of you. Kells, you haven't got a leg to stand on. You were driving that gold wagon. I crashed that wagon, Amos. A purpose? It was my only chance of getting away. Keep that man seated. It's not customary. Does he have to keep butting in? Mr. Willett, right now I got first claim on Steve. He's my prisoner, too. Well, it doesn't seem to be enough. I mean, to go around. But if you'll both listen, I think I can send enough outlaws your way to divide up even. And you tell me where they're hiding out? Better than that. If you'll let me out of here, What I... kind of a territory is this? Lake, if you enter into any skullduggery with him, I'll... Now, suppose you sit down and start taking some notes. Notes? Notes? What for? In case I get bamboozled by Steve, you'll have it all down in writing. Splendid thought. Splendid. Now, Steve, what's on your mind? That raid on the bank was staged by only a handful of the Legion. Same bunch that are shooting up the palace? They're scattered all over, but Gullman's the leader of them. What's that name again? Gullible, Mr. Gullible. I got it, thanks. After the raid, we were to meet at the Bar X. If I could stage a jailbreak and get back to them, that way I could lead the entire Border Legion right into your lap. I reckon I'll have to hold you, Steve. The judge and jury will have to decide if your story is true or not. But will you get word to Alice? Well, she and Hurricane's gone to Alder Creek. There's a big boom on. John's gold mine is... This town's deader than a doornail. I have to lock you up, son. Come on, Willett. You and I are going out back and talk private. Reach him up! Reach! Reach yourself, Jim. There's nobody here. Which one? The big glass. See how to take care of my boys, Doc? That was the Border Legion. They sprung him. Sprung who? Kell. Kell? Sprung Kell? Well, go after him. Go after him. I can't. My horse is through a shoe. Of all the lunk-headed sheriffs I ever saw, you western ones are the dumbest. Now, ain't we, though? <laughs> Watch me go back and knock them fellows off. Ten men for each one of mine they killed. An eye for an eye, huh? That's what it says in my book. <laughs> Jim, you bellow more and accomplish less than a state senator. Hey, you talk too big with your mouth, you. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Me? No, if I were, I'd use my head for something besides these penny ante jobs. Like that stage in the Mile City Bank. That was a bust if ever I saw one. Sit down! Doc. One of these days, I'm gonna leave Santos have his way. You've got an organization capable of taking this territory apart. My men are taking care of that's everything. That's the trouble. You're wasting them on small stuff when you've got a gold rush right in your front yard. Yeah, that's right. Alder Creek. Sure, sure, we might knock it off. Not we, you. Move in yourself. Watch every ton of ore that's brought up. Keep your finger on every pulse. When the first big shipment of gold is ready to roll... I'll be ready to knock it off. Why, sure. One haul like that and we'd be set. It'll take time and men. I got both. I'll send out riders. I'll have every man in the Legion here inside of a week. Well, when do we leave, boss? Oh, somebody in Alder Creek, he recognize you, maybe. <laughs> he watches over me like a baby. Sure, Santos. They could pick me up for resistant arrest, but the stagecoach driver was knocked off. And they couldn't prove that any of my bullets killed their men. That's right, boss. And on that bank holdup, everyone was masked. But this fellow, he can't show his face in Alder Creek. He ain't going to. All right, you men, listen. Red, Clam, Ben, Joe, saddle up. I'll give you the whereabouts of each unit. Every man jack is to report here to Steve Kells. Steve, you're in command of the Border Legion, under orders from me. Santa's here is running carrier pigeon between me and you. What else I do besides run the errands? Stay close to the saloon and keep your ears open. What saloon? Use your head, man. The saloon I'm opening. I'm a businessman, see? The respected owner of, uh... All right, you men, start thinking up a good name for my saloon.
Are you thinking, Doc? Sure. Hard and fast. My friends and fellow citizens, as mayor of this fair metropolis, I promise to bring you law and order. Hmm, boys are starting early today. Oh, where was I? Keeping law and order. Mr. Oh, yes, and another thing. All horses must be kept off the sidewalk. And last and most important, saloons should be kept closed between five and six in the morning. You gotta sweep them out sometime. John, I wanna talk to you. Amos, what are you doing over quick? Any word of Steve? Plenty. Hiding out with the Border Legion. Steve with the Legion? My, that boy gets around. I don't believe it. Well, if Steve's doing any hobnobbing with them skunks, there's a reason for it. Darn good one. He's working for me. And barring accidents, we'll bust that Legion gang. You can't send him into a thing like that. It's too dangerous. It's dynamite, but he asked for it. Now, I gotta talk fast and get going. I don't want to hang around all the creek with Golden here. Well, get him out of here. Can't you arrest him for that shooting fracas back in Miles City? Can't you prove that he held up the stage? What good would that do? I want to bag them all. By the time Steve's through, I'll be able to prove that Gullen's the head of the Board of Legion. How are you going to operate? Just prior to that jailbreak, Steve said something about the gang heading for a place called the Bar X. Well, that's only 10 miles from here. It's an old deserted cow outfit. Yeah, and Steve's sure to be on the lookout, figuring one of us will try to get in touch with him. Well, I'll go. I'll go and I'll waste my chance. Well, none of them know me. That's right, Miss Alice. You can ride out sort of innocent-like. You're the one to contact Steve. You're new here. When Steve sets the trap, I'll put the bait in it. You sure you won't be scared, Miss Alice? You know, you might have to meet up with some of them Legion fellas. Yeah, that's the part I don't like. Putting her in contact with the seamy side of life. Why? You got her working for you, you old high binder. <laughs> Galden? Galden? That name sounds vaguely familiar. Maybe you read my sign. I own this saloon. Drop in and fill up any time. Never get full on a case. But I mean half full. I don't drink at all. Now, if you should see this, Kells, notify me. Where'd you be at, in case I want to lay my hands on you in a hurry? That ant hill, they call a hotel. I'll get him if it takes till doomsday. You're right there, mister. It's desperados like that Kells that plays on us decent folk. Now, take me. I'm a man of a large family. I require... Yeah, all grown-up boys, ain't they, Gold? I've heard a lot about them. Why don't you lock yourself in that mild city jail of yours? Throw the key away. I might get lonesome. It's so empty. He had Kells, but lost him through sheer stupidity. Those hoodlums sprung him. Why, Sheriff, I'm surprised. From now on, I take over. See this? A warrant for Steve Kells' arrest. Now, there's a man with something concrete to work on. You've got to have evidence to arrest people, Lake. Don't I know it? Well, this town's out of my jurisdiction. I think we'll go back to Miles City. Good luck, Willits. I always get my man. Don't let anything spoil your record, Hawkshaw. Loose horse. Looks like a lady's outfit. like your last match in a windy night. I gotta get the doc. You two get back to the shack. Tell the boys to clear out. Lear horse. I'll bring her. I can't bring her, too. She's hurt bad, huh? Get me some water from the well. It's got to be cold. Well, not too cold, Steve. It hurts my teeth. This is dangerous, Alice. Why did you come here? Well, Sheriff Lake explained everything to John, and he and I are going to work with you. Now, what do you want us to do? Arrange to have a wagon train leave Alder Creek. And let Golden think that it's carrying gold. All right. 
I'll bring word as soon as it's ready. Here comes Red. Well, quite all right, thank you very much. Do I give her a drink? Oh, I really, I don't need it. I'm awfully grateful to you. Well, I'm the one that found you. Oh, then I'm indebted to you. Well, thank you both. I'll ride back now. I'd like to go a ways with you in case you get lost. We're bringing in some cattle. You can't leave. Well, it isn't at all necessary anyway. I come out this way often. It's my favorite ride. I hope I'll see you again. Well, that'll be fine with me, ma'am. Oh, and thank you again, Mr. Um... Montmorency, uh, Cecil Montmorency. Oh, well, thank you. Goodbye. What do you mean, telling her a thing like that? Like what? Making me out of Montmorency. What'll she think? Well, what is your name? Oscar Magoony. Well, in that case, she'll think a lot more of you. No, oh, I'm afraid I won't be able to spare a man, but, uh, oh, you, like to pick up a saw buck? This fella do. Tell him what you want. I'm sorry to run away, but I got a busy morning ahead. I understand. The man, he, he's full of business so early this morning, huh? Yes, yes, something about a gold train and a stovepipe. Amazing people, they don't make sense. A uh, uh, gold train leaves stovepipe bell, maybe, huh? At noon. Yes, I believe that's it. Now, I want you to ride over to Miles City. I, I, I go ask my boss. Come to the hotel, I'll have a message written out. Just ask for Willits. I hear what I'm listening for. Me, I got big ears. And a lot in between. Go get Kells. Tell him I'll meet him and lead the attack at the ravine. of gold, he'll be ready to leave at noon. Me and the boss, we meet you at the ravine. Somebody better remind Steve he's in command. Where he is? <laughs> I introduced him to a gal. She rides out here most afternoons. He won't leave none of us see her. Where'd he see this girl? Down the Oak Flat. Oh, I'll leave him be. Fella's got to have some time for sparking. All work and no play will make him a dull boy. He's too smart already, I think. Tell Gabby to start the wagons moving at 12. And Sheriff Lake and the vigilantes meet the wagon train at Stovepipe Bend. Tell him to allow no more than 10 minutes to get him loaded with men and guns. That'll put him in the ravine sector about 12.30. I'll be waiting there with the Border Legion. Steve, don't you realize you'll be in the center of fire? The Legion and the wagons as well? Promise me you'll be careful. I may be too busy for that, but I promise I'll keep ducking. <laughs> if uh, this comes out all right, maybe you and I can be moving on. Steve, we could go to Mexico. You look mighty cute in one of those little lace fandanglers. Oh, you mean a mantilla. Look at that, you're talking Spanish already. Be careful. Put them up, girls. All the time, I said to myself, Santos, this doctor fellow is bad medicine.
Santos is riding back to Alder Creek. Orders are that we move on. When? Now. Santos said the gold train starts at noon. What's your hurry? I don't give reasons. I give orders. Golden's going to meet us and lead the attack. Once we get to the ravine, you'll just be one of the hired hands. So don't get too big for your britches. I worked my way up from a common horse thief to a ten-notch man. Does Golden make me a lieutenant? No. Take that up with the board of directors. Are you joshing me? I give orders. Which way do you want them? Uh, we got him. We're moving, ain't we? All right, get going. Kells man is make a fool of you. Keep your shirt on. Kells run out on me? No, he's leading your men where you say, but the wagon train is a trap. He's not carrying gold. He's loaded with men and guns. If you're lying... I, I know what I say. I hear with my own ears. Kells and the girl. She say the men are going to meet the wagon train at Stovepipe Bend. He is to lead the Legion into the ravine, so that's a surprise attack, huh? Yes. All right, Dr. Kells. Give you a dose of your own medicine. We ride to warn our men? That's right. We ride that wagon train like I said. We are going to meet the attack? I'll beat it. That wagon train goes to the spot just like they planned. But we'll be ready for them. We'll blast them wide open. The wagon train comes in from the north. We we'll wait until they get well in and... Golden and Santos. Santos. Red, Joe, after him. Take part in this. Why can't I? Female's place is in the home. Oh, let me bag one of those ugly mooses for my mantelpiece. More boys coming. Get the drop off. Santos got wise to her whole plan and spilled it to Golden. Then we're licked. I don't know. Santos, what's Golden's plan? Spill it. He's right to Ravine and wait for train. Steve, I tell. You help me, please. You don't let them. A gun in your ribs makes you anybody's friend, doesn't it? Why, you uh, half-breed engine, you're as yellow as saffron. That wagon train goes into the ravine on schedule, but it goes in empty. I can't ask men to drive them wagons into certain death. 
Some men, Sheriff, aren't worth asking. All right, get down. They come, like rats into a trap. The others, they see you fall and they run like rabbits. It's Santos, you hear me? Sure, Santos. You always watch over me like a baby. <laughs> well, I ain't done. I'll get out of this. Any way you figure, Golden, your number's coming up. The doctor fell. He gave us all bad medicine. Curing people of things is my business, Jim. <laughs> You're the doctor. All right, come on now. The whole town is waiting to honor the man that rid this territory of the Border Legion. Yeah, but John, I don't want to go out there and face all those people. You won't have to. Stephen Kellogg, get under arrest. Too late, Mr. Willis. Here's a telegram from my brother Jeffrey. He's confessed. Here's one from the mayor of Albany. Steve's been vindicated. I got one from the state saying the case is closed. Why doesn't somebody tell me these things?